10 years of the Bundesliga. 10 years full of stories, goals and emotions. 2010 to 2019 brought loads of fantastic action. We look back at the top 10 moments of the last decade. In 10th place, the two most unusual goalkeeping errors of the past decade. Starting with the Mainz keeper. Whoops! Oh my goodness, what a fluff from Robin Sentner! Can he recover? Well, <laughs> oh man, <It's laughs> he just forgot. <laughs> Sorry, he just forgot to take the ball. This is fantastic. This is absolutely marvellous. I've never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> ja, ich krieg einen Rückpass, ähm, nehme den Ball an, er hat ein bisschen Backspin und ja, dann sehe ich im Augenwinkel halt was Weißes, denke äh, nach wie vor ist es der Ball. Ähm, war dann der Elfmeterpunkt und der Ball war woanders. Ähm, ich hole aus zum Pass, will ihn auf äh, Jean spielen, auf die Sechs und ja, habe keinen Widerstand und ähm, ja, dann sehe ich, dass der Ball gar nicht mehr da ist und äh, sich irgendwo befindet. Luckily, Sentner got away with it, but it was a different story for Mark Flecken in his time at Duisburg. Corner stop or camp. Ah, he two nil. It looks as though the referee's assistant had the flag up here. Well, the goal's not given. Newland to be a schluck. This is Christian Tresch with long ball. Nalba's there. Back to the keeper. Where is the keeper? Where is the goalkeeper? Mark Flecken is non-existent. Well, maybe he thought his team were leading 2-0, but that's not the case now. Kutschka scores, and goalkeeper Mark Flecken was drinking water. Fortunately for Flecken, Duisburg ended up winning the game thanks to a penalty. Ninth place is taken by a particularly touching moment. Frankfurt's Marco Rus was diagnosed with testicular cancer in May 2016. There was a huge wave of sympathy from teammates and opponents alike. In that time, interested football überhaupt gar keinen, sondern da steht dann die Gesundheit in Vordergrund. Und das ist das ist doch das Wichtigste im 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 Leben, ne? Wenn man wenn man gesund ist. His battle with the disease and chemotherapy started. Russ beat cancer and he celebrated an emotional return against Bayern 10 months after the diagnosis. Marco Russ never gave up. He always believed he would be able to return to the German top flight and here he is. And it is so good to see him back in the Bundesliga. In 8th place, we celebrate the milestones in Bundesliga goals in the categories of long range, fast and old. By old, we mean the living Bundesliga legend Claudio Pizarro. Pizarro scores! Double deflection! He won't care! 1-1 right at the death! And wouldn't you know it, age is just a number. He's the oldest player ever. The score in the Bundesliga. After the goal, the immortal Pizarro also scored against Leipzig and is to this day the oldest goal scorer in the Bundesliga at the age of 40 years and 227 days. In the fast category, we're talking about Karim Bellarabi and Kevin Folland. Both needed exactly nine seconds for their record strikes for the fastest ever Bundesliga goal. Coming out strong, we're right at the start, Benarabi's made it 1-0! Oh, that must be the fastest goal ever! Bayern Munich then getting the match underway. by the visitors have conceded, can you believe it? This is incredible, that's going to be the fastest goal ever in the history of the Bundesliga. Folland's goal is also the only one to be scored with the first touch of the ball in a Bundesliga fixture. The two record breakers now play together for Bayer Leverkusen. In the long range category, the starring role is taken by Moritz Stoppelkamp and a distance of 82 meters. The furthest goal in Bundesliga history. Here's Stoppelkamp. Oh, he's gone for it! Oh, this is unbelievable! Will it go in? Yes! Hannah Moore, 2-0! Moritz Stoppelkamp, former Hannah 
26th player who's got it. Just watch this again. You'll never see anything like it again. A special connection between Darmstadt and Jonathan Heimers. The Lillies fan, suffering from cancer, supported the club at the most difficult time for him, with his personal motto, nothing's lost yet, you have to fight. Man braucht einfach nur die Werte. Man braucht Kämpfen, Willen, Zusammenhalt, Kraft. Und äh, wenn man sowas hat, dann braucht man keine Million. He inspired the players, staff and coach Dirk Schuster. Ich denke, dass wir alle stolz sein können, seine Persönlichkeit wie Johnny Heimes äh, kennengelernt zu haben und auch seinen Lebensmut und seinen Kampfgeist ein bisschen als Darmstädter Weg mit äh, aufnehmen konnten. Johnny passed away in 2016 after a long battle with his illness. Darmstadt renamed their stadium after him for a season in his honor. Against all odds, Darmstadt stayed up in the end with Johnny at their side and in their hearts. It's the mother of all derbies, Borussia Dortmund against Schalke. 2017 brought one of the most legendary clashes between the two rivals. Arguably the most spectacular match of the past decade is our number six. Dortmund scored with the first real chance of Bellion. Rudy Shaheen at the Dortmund controls, awkward one, and it's gone in, would you believe it, an own goal. Well, it's a wretched start for Schalke. Dortmund hold the aces. Obama Young, three. Mario Götze. Rafael Guerrero joins in the fun. A stunning volley. The Schalke players cannot get to grips with what is happening. Doesn't seem to be very much Schalke can do about this. This is interesting, and that is a fabulous header. Guido Borgstaller, wonderful. It's fallen for Arit. 4 2 now. Who knows? The belief is back for Schalke Nurfia. Daniel Caligiuri takes on the oh, shot. Jesus. Oh, it's magnificent. 4 3. What a Ravia derby. Huge chunk of stoppage time. No, no! Oh, Jesus. This is why they call it the mother of all derbies. And it's all gone royal blue. Das, das bleibt für immer in meinem Kopf. Und ich denke für die, die, die Fans genauso. Solche Spiele bleibt für immer. They were on their knees at 4 0 down. Seemingly no way back. The biggest comeback of the decade, an unforgettable Bundesliga highlight. Over the last decade, there have been lots of emotional farewells for Bundesliga club legends and coaches ending their careers. The Yellow Wall and the Dortmund fans said farewell to legendary goalkeeper Roman Weidenfeller after 16 seasons at the club, which also made an impression on his successor, Roman Berge. Die Wertschätzung der Fans war, war unglaublich. Ich glaube, das ist das, was heute herausragt. And the fans of Bayer Leverkusen had to say goodbye to Stefan Kiesling after 12 years of scoring goals for the Werkself. Jetzt habe ich meine letzten Minuten in der Bundesliga gespielt und ähm, bin einfach überglücklich, was da heute äh, die Fans auf die Beine gestellt haben. Frank Ribery and Ian Robin have shaped the last decade more than most players. Farewell to two true greats, the Wing Wizards, Ian Robin and Frank Ribery depart. Goals and the title to finish off with. Simply perfect. Robin! This day could not have been any better planned than this. Bundesliga legend Jupp Heynckes coached both of them. He also gave up coaching after winning the Bundesliga with Bayern in 2018. Just like Heynckes friend and contemporary Uli Hoeneß, who retired in 2019 after four decades at the Bayern helm. Robert Lewandowski and his magical night is in fourth place. From the start, 2015. Bayern against Wolfsburg, 1-0 down at half-time. 
Then Lewandowski came on to make history. This is the pass into the feet of Vidal, then Thomas Muller, and it's in the back of the net from Robert Lewandowski, because that is what Robert Lewandowski does for a living. There they come again. Oh, superb goal from distance. Lewandowski has shown exactly why he is one of the best in the business. Muller making room for himself. Good, sir. Lewandowski for the hat trick off the post. Lewandowski again, and somehow he's put it in. Oh, my word, this is one of Lewandowski's finest performances. He scored the fastest hat trick of all time in the Bundesliga. So was how he on and he lived. And the ball's in the back of the net again. And yes, indeed, it is one Robert Lewandowski. Next Bundesliga record, he also netted the fastest full goal haul. Ich spiele auch schon ein paar Jahre Fußball, habe davor viel Fußball angeschaut. Noch nie gesehen. Lewandowski goes through again. Oh, he just can't do it. You just cannot be that good. That is an amazing goal. And with his fifth goal, he set the record for the fastest five goals and also became the first substitute to score five goals in a Bundesliga game. Well, I don't know how many offers of marriage Robert Lewandowski is going to have, but Pep Guardiola is going to be one of them. He can't believe it either. Historic, unique, or not, Philip Lahm? Man muss ja kritisch bleiben. Also, mit Levi auch normal hätte heute sieben machen müssen. Something big was happening in 2010 in Dortmund. Mats Hummels, Mario Götze and striker Robert Lewandowski. But leading the way was Jurgen Klopp, of course. The coach galvanized the team and challenged the record champions. The young Dortmund side beat Bayern home and away in 2010-11. Eine junge forsche Truppe und äh, hatten einfach alle richtig Spaß daran, hatten Bock zu arbeiten, hatten Bock zu spielen. They achieved Dortmund's first league title in nine years in spectacular fashion. The euphoria of the fans and the team knew no bounds. But that's not the end of it. Dortmund shone again with impressive performances the following season. Lewandowski! Sensational! Lewandowski with the back heel and Dortmund lead! Dann kam natürlich die absolut entscheidende Szene, ähm, als Roman den Elfmeter von Robben hält. Robben to equalize for Bayern and Weidenfeller saves! That moment was crucial because Dortmund won 1-0 on match day 30 and went on to defend the title. On top of that, Borussia beat Bayern in the DFB Cup final. Dortmund went wild. These moments will always be dear to Dortmund hearts. The Klopp era ended in 2015 after seven years with the Black and Yellows. However, the last decade belonged to Bayern München. They were champions of Germany in 2010, and after the two Dortmund titles, the Munich club made history with Jupp Heynckes. In 2013, they won the treble of the Bundesliga, DFB Cup and Champions League after the all-German final against Dortmund. It was the start of seven German league titles in succession. Never before have a team won it so early. Never before have a team so richly deserved it. 53 games undefeated this season. Bayern München once again have dominated the Bundesliga. Is there anybody out there that can stop them? This is still the team and the club that sets the Bundesliga bar. They still, year on year, raise the standards as right now they raise the trophy. The champions of Germany, they have custody of the Meister Schale. For seven successive seasons and 28 times overall. Bayern and their coaches, Jupp Heynckes, Pep Guardiola, Carlo Ancelotti and Niko Kovac made Bundesliga history. A unique feat which is unlikely to be repeated for a long time. Top spot is not another Bundesliga record. It's a tragic story. The story of Junior Malanda, 
a talented player who passed away at a young age. The 20-year-old had scored two goals in the Bundesliga and was a Belgium under-21 international. In January 2015, he died in a road traffic accident in wet weather on the motorway. The solidarity from the league was exceptional. The sympathy at the death of a member of the Bundesliga family brings people together. Under the week we have been with the with the Golden by the friends here from the Mannschaft. Das ist alles so surreal gewesen, weil einfach ein, ein, ein Mitspieler verstorben ist. Das, das kann man mit gar keinen Worten so richtig, muss ich ehrlich sagen, ähm, nicht beschreiben. Wolfsburg beat Bayern 4-1 in the first game after Melander's death. His club Wolfsburg played the rest of the season with the number 19 of Junior Melander on their shirts. They finished runners-up in the league and won the DFB Cup, with their friend and teammate Junior Melander always in their thoughts. Our top 10 ends with a moment of Bundesliga solidarity. Which moment particularly moved you over the last 10 years and stays in your memory? Let us know in the comments. Hello? Yes, you. Where are you going? The Bundesliga on YouTube. Subscribe now. <laughs> Football as it's meant to be.